Welcome back again to the Bioshock Infinite. It's been such a long time since I've uploaded the new video. Uh, if I remember, we need to <coughs> found the uh, Old Man Winter, something like that. Yeah? Atlas sent me here for some old man winter. You haven't been around here long, have you? What makes you say that? Because <laughs> eh, you're the only one of us that don't smell like the reptile house at the zoo. Now be quick about it, and just take the winter. This ain't the goodwill. Hey, this is a pretty nice place. What are you looking at? Printing? Memo to the sales. While we deny all customer claims regarding purported burns they have received from quote, overheating of 1958 bathyspheres, unquote, our marketing team has decided to give away flasks of old man winter as part of a new promotional campaign. There will be no recall of the 58. No recall. So, uh, so Atlas asked me to figure out where to uh, strike first when we bust out of this place, but, you know, it all depends on when we get out. You know, I mean, November 5th, it's a big founding of Rapture Shindig at uh, Fort Frolic. Valentine's Day, you know, I mean, Arcadia is real popular. Uh, I mean, it's near New Year's Eve, then, hey, we could pop the corks off all the stuffed shirts down at the Kashmir restaurant. The heat is on. Ryan knows something's up and is sending men to investigate the department store. Suggest you lay in supplies at the Manor Ray Lounge and prepare for a siege. Hmm. Looks like there's something in the Manor Ray Lounge worth investigating. Oh, damn. I forgot what the Manor Ray is. Oh, 
what's wrong with this guy. Tell Ryan things are getting hot down here real fast. A goddamn leprechaun is building himself a regular army. If you'd ask my opinion, which you didn't, I'd send a crew down here and clean up the place before they show up on your doorstep. But who am I except some undercover schmuck you sent to give you straight dope? Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. Nice. Uh, we... Just what we needed. That was the last of it. Now you think you can manage the repair? Sure. How are you? Oh no, oh no. Going to stand there with your mouth open? Don't leave me! Enough of this dumb foolery! Wait a minute, what's the machine gun? If I still remember where it is, and also, to upgrade my winter Monterey launch. Uh, all I need is to found three bottle of wine. And the secret is between there. Not in here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, here it is. Those bottles. Just like on the coded note to Fontaine. That's the ending of Kaija Kwan. So Shang, I'm gonna make this clear as can be. So we don't have any miscommunications. Where the hell is the ace in the hole? You think you can stiff Frank Fontaine? I paid good money for state-of-the-art weapons. I ain't losing this war just because you found yourself a higher bidder. I can promise you, I ain't never been one to lose with dignity. How do we tell me? There's a way right there. That scared the shit of me. <laughs> Sir, please don't do anything. Stay right there. Stay right there. Good. You need to attack. Good. I think this, this he's not an enemy. Whew. Elizabeth, 
poster. What's this all about? Cohen spent two months as his disciple, trying to get a line on this trafficking ring. Awful. Why not just kill Comstock and be done with it? Comstock had to know why. He had to know that he deserved it. But did he? Did he deserve it? I suppose we all do. One way or another. We are ready. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Ah, well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. And for the last one. <sighs> okay, that should stop it from overheating. There, everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. Same dress as in the picture painting. This easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure must be up that lift. Perfect. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. Take the active particle, then the first lady is just a 40 ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. But well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Return. Of course, this will be something happens. Into some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Eat for that? Just tell me what you want. So Jomo wonder something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not that your hair, stupid. Think, Hodges, secret lock. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then, everybody friends. Where's his lab? Closed off, past Fink's quarters. And you smart lady, you find it. Oh, he's... Should have seen that one. Telling me the real specific words of Labias. Box Populi, we must have arrived right in the middle. Prep to generate a bullet snatching shield that places ammo into your gut. Of the siege. That means the 
The other, you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we did. Wait, is this the part of the main story? service but I will not hurt the boy I will see Fink and Comstock burn but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father you've misunderstood us we neither asked you to harm the child nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire a famous man once said and a famous man shall say I may reach the mountaintop but I fear I shall never visit the valley below but you mean I won't live to see the no. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. So that's how it is. The twins, the twin is making us a killer, making us no choice to choose to New York, not to Paris. To come along with the Comstock, not run away from him. expecting them to be there There's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear. Hatred. People dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence. I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? He deny him his vengeance. I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? Nobody here. What is this? 
this like CCTV or something? What's that thing you just picked up? My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossibility. We could instant... A giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives us blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock key. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. Ah, oh, pretty good. It sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. Yeah, you know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. Okay, we know we're supposed to go there to the work. Good to know that, th that there's nothing in here. Pleasure. Got seeds from graveyard. Chief War. As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those without a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Hmm. Boy. I miss you. You 
You were the only one who ever... You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Did you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Ventilation right there. Two enemy right there. I can sneak up with this one. What's next? Okay, how do I get up there? <sighs> Damn, it's just a shortcut. That it was leading me somewhere. the last of these episodes uh, we're gonna continue this tomorrow maybe tomorrow maybe some other times but yeah see you in the next episode
bye bye